Kitchen of Surrey Hills and Don's Grizzle and Grill of Warrenora Heights. Hello. Hey, if your name happens to be Don, go and see Con and say, Con, Don, Ron sent me. Good bloke, Con. How are you, Con? Hope you're listening. How's the wife? Still throwing up? <laughs> throwing up in the backseat of Rolls Royces. What a bag. Never give her a lift. Hello. Hey, Murray, is that a turtleneck you're wearing or is that just your lower lip? <laughs> I believe in reincarnation. What part of the horse were you in your last life? Oh, Hello. Hey, Murray. Hey. Hello. <laughs> yeah, I showed Hello. him. Oh, telephone call. Mr. Lord, you're a mangrove. Blow it out your ear. You're a blob. You're a smudge. You're a splatter and a smear. I may be supercilious, smug and self-obsessed, but I know who's paypacking. I like this. You're a languishing lump of lifeless lard, as interesting as a wet graveyard. You're a flatulent, fornicating, footstool in the fop, and a shifty, squishy, silk sifting snot face soft, thanks for your call. Now, as I was saying, RM Gow's laundry detergent sprinkled liberally on your cornflakes every morning will give you that feeling. Mr. Lord, you're a bastard! Oh, shut your hairy face. You're a yog. You're a log. You're a damn disgrace. You're a fawning, stooping, groveling wimp, a seething sleazeball, a pervert and a pimp. You're a slug, you're a grub, you're a thug and you're a turd. Now I hit the kill button so I get the final word. Ha <laughs> ha, thanks for your call, scumbucket. Visit a needle showroom and ask the salesman to show you his needles. <laughs> Always good for a laugh, that one. Hi, <laughs> hate flies. Hello. Do you? Hello. I do. You're Hello. a squishy lump of stuff from the armpit of a yak. You're that tickle-like thing that you find in Big Max. <laughs> That's all. Thanks for your call. Hi, family. Hi, Hi Dad. Dad. Hi, honey. Say, Bobby, what's that you're snorting? Uh, it's nothing, Dad. Come on, Bobby, what is it? Honestly, it's nothing. Hey, that's cocaine, isn't it, Bobby? Oh, Bobby. Oh, Bobby, you of all people. Hey, great shit. You share it with Greg, Peter, Marsha, Jan, Cindy, and Amby Davis as Alice. I'm sorry, Dad. It won't happen again. Here, have a line. Thanks. <sighs> Whoa, I'm still going to have to punish you. Lower the temperature of your jacuzzi by five degrees. But, Dad... No buts, Bobby. Now, go to your sauna. Oh, honey, you're such a good father and a fine American. In fact, I think we'll all sing to you. What about it, kids? Come on. Yay! Yay! Here's the story of a great actress who was 
bringing up three very homely girls. All of them had cheesy grins, like their mother. The youngest one had boils. This is the story of a big great actor who was busy with three boys of his own. They were four men, two and cope together in a kind of twilight zone. Till the one day when the lady laid this fella And they knew that it was much more than a hump And that they'd all end up sleeping together That's the way we all became the gravy bunch The gravy bunch The gravy bunch So we're fine Americans We're out Pompous and pretentious, and really ostentatious, it's naughty and presumptuous, the royal family. I say, Fergie old bag. Yes, Andrew L. Stick. Mumsy said the queerest thing to me this morning. What kind of thing, Andrew L. Sausage? Well, that I ought to put my mind to marrying. Marrying who, Andrew L. Thing? Well, she said someone of the correct background, Fergie old slug. Someone like Diana. But she's already married, old cock. Oh, someone like her, old crud. Someone who dresses like an old potato. Someone gawky and twittish. Like you, I expect. Oh, that would be wizard, Andrew L. Slug. Steady on, old bat. It would mean a few frightful drastic changes to your lifestyle, don't you know? You mean no more being a wheeze at parties? Hey, not her drip. No more skinny dipping? Well, no, actually. No more gadding about having a terribly spiffing time with a bunch of twisty tedious types? Well, I expect you'll be gadding about with me and Charles and Di and Mumsy and Phil. Mm. That wouldn't be so horrid, would it, Fergie Old Sprog? Well, it could be a good show, I expect. Super. Then you'll do it? Well... Splendid. I'll ring Mumsy and tell her that everything's wizard. Steady on her sock. What about a kiss or something? Oh, Ferdy. Oh, Fungi. Oh, Hardy. Oh, Angie. Oh, Frungi. No, oh, Hardly. Oh, oh Farty. Ugly. Oh, oh Fruity. Marcy. Kissy, kissy. Oh, oh Black. They're pompous and pretentious and really ostentatious. It's naughty and presumptuous. The royal family. Let's forces get on my tit. Really gets up my nose and gives me the shits. But there's bugger all that I can do. Say it for singing this wee ditty for you. Hang on. <laughs> How about this little beauty? Up there, 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 up there on the platform he was speaking to the people. The people were responding with the clapping and the cheering, but the meaning of the message not revealed to those assembled. They're taking for a ride while he's coming in his stride. What do you think of this one? Who is for the place to come when everybody's got you on the run? People wasting away in paradise Now go on back once in a while Taking your time, oh, give it a try Yes, wet snails in the omelette The best of midnight oil according to Alec for crutch and night It's now, I'm up, I'm up Can I help you? Uh, yes, I was wondering if you could recommend a good movie for the kids. Kids, kids, um, mm. Conan meets the Care Bears. A mm, bit gory, I think. Rambo goes to bingo with a grenade. They are the seven-year-old kids, you see. Mm. Um, how about Gushing Blood? Still sounds violent. Huh? Oh, no, sir, it's a musical. Hacking, clawing, drilling, boring, munching, biting, stabbing, fighting, knifing, poking, slashing, choking, hearing Gushing Blood. No, I don't think so. Something from Disney? Uh, that sounds a shot, yeah. Donald disembowels Mickey. No, no. Uh, Goofy Goose's Mini? Uh, Pluto's Republic. Sounds a bit heavy. Heavy? It's a simple enunciation of an ideal state organised according to a concept of justice. Although it's been said that it has uh, totalitarian leanings, it's hardly heavy. A fairy story or a wilderness adventure. How about uh, Rapunzel, Russet, mm, with the wood creatures in the wilds of Bexley? 
Yeah, OK. VHS or beta? Ah, uh, beta, thanks. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. We don't stock beta. Oh, never mind. Wait, wait. I do have a beta movie. Uh, Joey Peroni in Deep Goat. Uh, That's a nature film. No, no, no. Thanks, thanks. <laughs> no pleasing some people. Can I help you? Uh, yes, I'm, I'm a heroin addict and a burglar and I'd like a list of VCR owners and home mm, addresses. Certainly, sir. Just help yourself to our files after we close. Uh, you'll need a glass cutter and uh, some kind of crowbar for the cabinet. <laughs> thanks, thanks very much. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, I'd like to end a sketch without a punchline, please. There you go. Thank you. Sicko Video presents Scream, you bastard, scream. More gore than ever before. More close-ups of gushing, gaping wounds, decomposing corpses, and oozing slime. More excitement. Randy, put that away. What are you... More violence. <gasps> Rip, put that away. What, what are you... More romance. Oh, Buzz, <laughs> put that away. What are you... More <laughs> B-grade actors and actresses who can't act, but boy, can they die. An orgy of terror and suspense. Scream, you bastard. Scream. Malcolm and Vic, put that away. What are you... <laughs> <laughs> television. How many times had I heard that? Donna was always having a go at her brother's non-stop viewing habits. I used to tell her, television is Daryl's family, love. Dad and I have our bingo nights to occupy our minds. You've got your friends in the drug scene. Granny's got piles to think about looking after Pop. But this time, Donna was right. Daryl had turned into a television. Mum, will you adjust me colour? Who said that? Me, Mum. Daryl, over here in the corner. Good God, Daryl. You're a television. What do we want with two televisions? I know. We'll keep you up in our room so me and Dad can watch you in bed. And you know, to this day, I still get an eerie feeling whenever Dad and I play our little games. Sort of like the TV is watching us. you got to be there. <laughs> Daryl! <gasps> Sorry, Mum. Carry on, George. Man, I reckon. Go 
Waldorf. That's me. There are thousands of underprivileged families tearing around the suburbs in brand new Calais Camaros and Commodores thanks to me, my Nazi sales team and my amazingly generous finance company. You can get a loan of $14,000 if you lived in a refuge with Tony Braggart Finance, but you so much as think of being 10 seconds late with your repayment and you'll cop a nasty phone call, a rude telegram and a repossession notice and a pair of concrete hush puppies courtesy of Trimboli Concrete. I can't be much fairer than that. I can't be louder than that though, listen to this. Hi, I'm Tony Braggart and many people have asked me why I wear my pubic hair on my head, which is pretty bloody facetious. Tony Braggart, from up the Windsor Road, turn left of the uh, first set of lights there and head right just past the service station. Keep going until you get to the bridge and get into the left lane because you've got to chuck a big lefty after that and then right over the overhead foot crossing there uh, underneath it. Uh, just, uh, before you ca- just before you get to the post office, all right? I'll just start it again, all right? <coughs> Hi, I'm Tony Braggart, from up the Windsor Road, just turn left of the first set of lights there and a hard right past the service station. Keep going until you get to the bridge and get into the left lane because you've got to chuck a left right under that overhead bridge crossing there. You know the foot crossing? Well, you keep going there, just go, uh, go until you get past the post office. Via right, right again at the T section, straight ahead for the... Uh, uh, you know, that little place on the right there, little milk bar place, was straight past that, four k's, right? Three times round the roundabout, through the tunnel, head up to Adelaide, through the Northern Territory, back down to Balkham Hills. Give me a clap, that rattle trap, and let me flog your brand new Commodore. <sighs> How was I? That was great. Oh, thanks, Did my eyes bulge, did they? Oh, no, not really. What about the bunnies in my forehead? Did they flog? Heard the morning after Sam and the blower, blower, blower and, and said why don't you guys do it at my place i'll serve you barbecued brekkie in the spot and that's not all you can wear my pink pj i'll invite my friends round for a slumber party it'll be just like an unreal holiday and my parents will provide with refreshments no. and we're prepared to pay the Barco Bunch, the Barco Bunch, it's the morning after with the Barco Bunch. Yes, yes. <laughs> That was some morning. <laughs> that was the, our first birthday of the morning after, which was our breakfast show we did before we became Club Veg. Yeah, spent the whole uh, morning out there and were really well looked after by the Varkos. Take it out, man! What? Take that card out! I'll, I'll just put it in. I'll... Remove that card and replace it in the correct way up, for Christ's sake! Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> it's better, man. Look, embossing and all the little cards are a bit abrasive, you know, maybe you want to get it. Hmm. Pin number. Uh, 1512. Speak up, man. Uh, well, there could be people listening. So Private you... identification number. 1512. Select account. Uh, check account. What? Check account. Deposit or withdraw. Uh, withdraw. You've only got three bucks, man. Shh. I sure were freaking about someone hearing your pin number. Who do you think you are? Dippy card banking you in that 350Z. You, you want to complain to somebody? Yeah, well, as a matter of fact, I wouldn't mind complaining. You'll be this. wasting your breath, dude. Why? What do you mean? They can't do nothing with me, man. Like uh, when the bank buys a zippy card 350Z unit, baby. It's all yours, what's and all. Like if you want a servant, you gotta fly a guy out from the States, man. Now we're talking thousands and thousands of dollars here, man. Could you prove that I was uh, rude to you in a court of law? Well, nah. Well, take a hike, Rockefeller, and here's your three bucks. Oh, thanks a lot. I'll get you for this, you Vandalism, man. Vandalism will get you strapped in the can, man. Like, at best, you could be, like, granted suspended sentence or something. Isn't there anything we can do? Tough turkey, bozo. Isn't there anything? Nothing at all. Isn't there anything we can do? Nope, not a thing. Isn't there anything we can do? Lyle! Wake up! You'll be late for the bank! Lyle, you'll be late for the bank! Wake up! (laughs) The Peruvian prince said to the salmon with the hat, Hey there, salmon, where's your head at? Salmon said with a sneer and a leer, Wake up, you scumbag, I'm here! Prince said, what? The salmon said, how? And I put it all in music, and here it is now. Prince 
Bugs then picked up his flute, said if brings were cash, you'd be a destitute. But actually, Salmon, you look kinda cute. So he loaded the fish into his boot. He drove to the city and bought a new suit. Then he ate a piece of fruit. Robbed a bank and made off with the loot. And forgot about the salmon line dead in his boot. So what happened? Smell was fucking awful. Then he saw a cop on the street with an oxygen mask tied to his feet. He said, hey, officer, out on the beat. It sure would be a real neat treat. If you'd forget the past, lend me your mask. Yeah, lend me your oxygen mask. It would be a blast. What more could I ask? Just pass the mask. He said, not so fast. I said, I can't last. Just pass the mask. Neither be a gas. It's not such a task. Sure would be a real neat treat If you forget the past Let me your mask Let me your oxygen mask It would be a blast What more can I ask? What more do you ask? Puffy, what are you doing near the phone?
perfect too pitch. Too fluffy. Oh. Breaks me up every time. I think J-J-J. of my mum and dad. And oh, you and your mum and dad's dog fluffy. Oh. Outrageous. What? That record. Look, you did this to me last weekend. Yeah. Right, do you know what happened? No. Okay, well, I have a quiet afternoon and I listen to all these loonies on the radio and I recover from the hangover of last night's party and decide to sort of rev up for this evening. So I run a long, hot bath, right? Mm. And I turn JJJ right up and think, and wait for some music, you know? Mm. And then when I'm just settling, easing myself into this hot bath and <sighs> a cigarette in one hand and a glass of wine in the other, and I lean back in the hot water and what happens? What? You start to play that wretched ghastly record that fluffy thing fluffy 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 and i tell you what makes it worse is that woman can surely sing to be able to sing out a tune so excruciatingly and i can't sit in the bath anymore with that song bearing i have to get out of the hot bath and come and turn it down why do you play it every time i'm in a hot bath well you're out of the bath now aren't you oh yes and i'm cold <laughs> fluffy oh, no. where are you Killed herself. <laughs> oh my god. I know. Good thinking. <laughs> Hello. 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 I'm I'm, I'm the Al. He's Vic. Hello. Yes, you. Say something. You're the one that's got the little red light flashing on air one. You're line one. Hello. The people who are on hold, every one of you say hello. Hello. Right. <laughs> right, it's you. <laughs> the male voice. Me? Yes. <laughs> Oh, yeah, can you play on fucking songs I love my play? Oh, I think oh. we could probably wangle that. Oh. Yeah, how about this? Uh, do you know what I really love? <laughs> I love love, life, pleasure and pain Golden showers, daisy chains Beauty, peace and harmony, harmony. And nights at the club without the family I love Psst, sorry. trees, streams, and tiny little birds, sunrise and butterflies, and four letter words, barks and burps, and snooker too, and safari suits in royal blue. I love love, lust, a barmy summer breeze, laxatives and licorice, and shirts with puffy sleeves, pubs, clubs, and wine bars, fast food, fast women, faster cars, but most. Todd St. Smarm will be in tomorrow with Smarm Talk 105.7. Along with Wall of Voodoo, they'll be coming in. Yes, they'll be coming in to play some of their favourite records. Tell us about the gigs coming up Monday and Tuesday night at the Tivoli. Which we weren't allowed to mention last time they were on the No, because they uh, they were only thinking of doing it then, weren't they? Is that a wink? Yeah, 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 right. right, right. With a man who rips off cancer victims, pumpkin scones up your nose for any criticism. It's a crying shame. It's a crying shame. It's Don't crying push me. Shame. I'm it's close to the edge. Yeah. And I'm trying not to let anything like a knighthood go into my head. Or... Boy, oh boy, they made a job of it down there. Too right, or too wrapped up in, in, in sacred goennas and, and dreamtime sites. It's, it's their problems. Militants, feminists, friendies and gays. All join hands and go away. It's like a jungle sometimes. It makes me wonder how I keep from going under. It's like a jungle sometimes. It makes me wonder how I keep from going under. Speaking of jungle, damn the Jolly Franklin and damn the Pinkos, Greenies and Booms and anything else that's not red, white and blue. It's a crime. Goodness me, good news from the crown. I've got a knighthood now, so you can all get down. Ladies, curtsy, men, raise your hats. Go on, get yourself together for the Sergio Rap. When all you gotta do to get a serve on, shake it on the floor there. When all you gotta do to get a serve for the Is that your groove thing? 
and shake your dick. That's all you gotta do to get a survey for your name. Mutants, feminists, trendies, and gays. Oh, fuck. No way. Sorry. I'm not allowed to say that. I'm, 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 I'm a noted politician. I've had this. God. Does this ever stop? Does it just keep going forever? Boy, I've, I've, got, a, I've got an appointment down south in Canberra with the bloody trendies down there. There's a trouble with them. The Prime Minister jumps from here to here, from here to here, from there to there, from here to there, from here to there, from here to there. That's all, folks. Todd's and Smart, Club Veggers, resident, all singing, all dancing, all wiggly and wet coming attraction, mystic club performer and demigod here with more epistles of comfort and joy for those contemplating a secure future and eternal life membership of Clubland. When approaching the reception desk of a club for the first time, remember, you are the one who is about to receive the word. You are about to be the recipient of one of the greatest honours known to man. You are to be accepted within the walls of an RSL, leagues or sporting facility. A place of worship. And have its myriad facilities laid at your feet. The glass trophy cabinet is yours to admire in the foyer, members and guests, as is the coming attractions board and the little bitter men in white shirts and black bow ties. But the treasures that lie within are too awesome to contemplate for the non-member. So approach membership in a humble, grovelling, cringing fashion. Cower and snivel at the feet of the interrogation officer with the membership forms in his bloated hands. And don't wear gym shoes, solid leather uppers and a good stiff collar. And any woman seen within sniffing distance of the snooker room will be shot on sight. Please, members and guests. Give the performers a chance. Please, they've come a long way to entertain you tonight. So settle down or you'll be out on your freckles quick smart. Number 17, your goulash is ready. A Kakoda room, sir? Certainly. Get your bark and haircut. Come back dressed half decently. Ask me in a reasonable fashion. May I join your club? Fill out the appropriate form. Find two present members who'd be silly enough to vouch for you. Pay your bucks and get down in a prostrate position and implore me in an orderly manner to direct you to the bark and Kakoda room. Number 17, I've warned you about your goulash. Oh, Tots and Smarm will sign you in there. Now don't you Will them be Welcome to Club Land, baby. Yeah, what is it, Jacko? Wear your halter. Be there, baby. Oh, let I go, baby. Your yeah. maxi skirt. I'll show you good times, Mama, it won't hurt. Come into my clubhouse and vegetate. Come see my performance, Mama. Watch me knock 'em dead. See my pelvic spasms go straight to their heads. Hear the songs that melt a million hearts. Taste the results that launched a million farts. Come into my clubhouse and vegetate. Members and guests, enjoy the unique decor and authentic atmosphere of our delightful Gallipoli room here at your club. If you'd like to wander through, you can experience the exhilaration of leaping out of a trench and getting slaughtered by an army of Turks. Put some cash in that glow mesh, go down to the snack bar for some rissoles and snacks. Then we'll hit the lipperly room and we'll make those one-armed bandits few. Come into my clubhouse, mama. Let's vegetate. Oh, tots and smarm will sign you in, babe. Now don't be late. Wear your alternate top and your maxi skirt.
No es. Plus, there's a heartwarming story of how the 10-year-old Brisbane Siamese quads have conquered their disabilities by entering Ring Around the Rosie marathons. And in answer to many complaints from men, our Mere Mail page has a brand new stablemate, Foolish Female. This is what one male reader, Mr. S. Bend of Arncliffe, said of the woman in his life. F.F., the wife, is notoriously stupid. Last weekend, as she was dismantling the gearbox of the Datsun, she knocked a full can of petrol over the family cap, which, in a frenzy, pushed over our incinerator, which was alight at the time, and the burning fur smell was awful. F.F. sniffed and said, M.M., are you smoking camel again? <laughs> All this, plus Dulcie Boiling's fabulous new recipes for depression, and Bettina Arndt lists ten fun things to do with cucumbers. So for all the things women love to read about, we've got no idea. Out now. Go on. It's the most fun you can have keeping on your clothes. All you need's a finger and a block nose. Plunge it in and turn it round and pull it out with pride. And if you've used your nail correctly to scrape against the sides, you'll have a nice squishy trophy to hold up high. Show it to your neighbours at the traffic lights. They'll pretend they don't notice, but you know that they can see. So pop it in your mouth and watch them squirming in their seats. A memo from the record company, they reckon I'm some kind of sad sack. I'll show <laughs> Sing a happy kind of song, they said. Hey, one that leaps out with a smile that's gonna knock them dead. We know that you're a balladeer, but give them a peppy melody. And spread a little happy cheer. Oh, Todd, we know you can do it. But I'm I'm dismayed, I'm pessimistic Nothing's gone right today, nothing ever does anywhere I'm lower than a snake to bottom, I've never felt so rotten Situation hopeless, I'm loaded up with sadness I'm down, I'm blue, I'm mortified, I'm contemplating suicide I am, I can't go on, I won't, I'll do away with myself Richard Cheeseman. And I'm Sidney Dates. The gurus of greatness. The swamis of self-esteem. The masters of motivation. And you're on Club Veg. J-J-J. Can you tell me, uh, what would you get mm -hmm. across a quick snort with a low-budget advertising campaign? No idea. I reckon you'd get a Tony Prackard ad, mate. <laughs> Here's one for you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Tony Braggart, a truly warm and wise and wonder with a huge heart and a mouth to match. And not many people know this, but in my younger days, I taught former world surf champ Nat Young how to confront and totally devastate a wave. Do you believe that? Do you? You do? Well, you'll also believe that I flog quality check reliable used cars real cheap and I genuinely love to help people and a large percentage of my relatively pitiful profit goes to help worthy charities and needy families. Anyway, uh, usually I talk shit, but today I'm talking surf. Or more to the point, the new surfing accessory that's a must for any grommet, grimmy or goofy foot with a fraction of the salt caked on their faces after a full day of bobbing in the drink. The new Holden Animobile with a big 8-cylinder overhead radical cutback 360 in the barrel and a mindless 180 on the lip. The ultimate in surf Nazi transport. Check these features. Straw top the...
zinc cream smeared on the bonnet, multi-deck board racks, room for over 30 surfers or six normal people, factory pre-stained mattress, a cabin floor that doubles as a barbie plate, detachable bar and bong set, and a sticker on the tailgate saying knee borders are cripples. The animobile is available in a whole range of natural surf colours like Bondi Brown to Rogi Turt, Maroubra Mud or North Stain. Peer, smirk and sneer from the crest of a motoring wave surf voids in your new Holden animobile from Trusty Tony, the Pope's best friend, the most honest man in the cosmos, and let me purchase a Spanish-style villa on an island off the coast of Queensland with a heated pool spa and a tennis court with a 360-degree water view with the money I make from you! And now it's back to the action with Vic and Mel. It's a miracle, hey?
Yes, he got married to Helena Fingleton, better known, of course, to uh, Miss Helena, to juveniles. Yes, Miss yes. Helena. <laughs> Miss Helena. It's, it's kind of it's a bit grubby, isn't it? I mean, I've never really sort of seen her as grown up or anything. <laughs> it's a bit grubby. Wow, <laughs> you're sick. Well, anyway, uh, good on you, Mike and Helena, and um, hope you have lots of little kitties. <laughs> Bend and stretch. <laughs> now, it's been one of our experiences, as you know, yeah. that uh, successful people have yeah. one thing in common. What's that? A desire to help others grow and prosper. Mm. And in approximately 18 minutes, well, 17 minutes and uh, 57 seconds, mm. we're going to have Sydney Dates and Richard H. Cheeseman in mm -hmm. here to help a few people to grow and to prosper mm -hmm. and to win at love, work and play. So uh, give Smegma a call after 3 o'clock and uh, talk to the guys and who knows, maybe you could be alive and fulfilled. Mm. Sorry, Sydney? And that. Yeah. 
I was in mid cuff. Oh, God, he's done it again. <laughs> Another Ian Hunter song. Oh, Mal's playing Sydney's favourites. I love this guy. <laughs> Sydney's favourites. Did he smash? Hot hits. Hot hits. Jay. 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 Okay, well, Richard should be here soon. We're going to start Smegma, so if you... Have we got the calls lined up or anybody who would like to be motivated or to be psyched up? If well, you're feeling a bit down, well, Richard and Sydney are the people to do it. Yes, if you are feeling down and a bit down on yourself, you know, if, if I can hear your vibe saying that you're physically handicapped, born on the wrong side of the tracks, too young or too old, lacking in education or experience, your IQ is unimpressive, and no one would turn around to give you a second look. You've already failed twice or three times or even more and are ready to call yourself a born loser. It's not in the cards for you to succeed because they're stacked against you. You feel like that, huh? You think it's too late now to make anything out of your life? Well, this radio program is for you. I will demonstrate, along with Richard H. Cheeseman and Smegma, Hello. how I did it. Richard's here. How many famous people did it. How many people who aren't famous but are highly successful did it. And how you can do it, too. This man has an amazing mind. <laughs> Afternoon, Richard. Welcome yeah. to the program yeah. for the last time. Yeah, it's great. Jay, Jay, Jay. Great to be here. I've been a little down on my luck lately. Have you? Yeah, yeah. Well, Sydney, you, you know, you've, you've been in management, haven't you, Dick? Well, I tried it. I saw the kind of success that you were having, Sydney, with your Pat Matheny's and your Bowie's. And, 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 yeah, and your Tots and Smart. So I decided to try it, and uh, I took on an act, and I don't seem to be having too much luck with them these days. What's the act? It's the platters, and uh, they're, they're over here now. Okay, you have three seconds. Can we count, everybody? A one, one two, two, three. three. Goodbye. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Yeah. Well, I got a problem. You got a problem? What's yeah, your problem? problem? We're here to help. But I'm here for the money. <laughs> well, uh, um, there's my dad. Oh, no, oh, that's your problem. problem. Papa, don't preach. <laughs> you, you keeping your baby? <laughs> What's, um, what's your problem? Big problem there. What is that? My mom's eating my lamington. Oh, no! Yeah. Are you well, familiar with positive and negative stroking? No. <laughs> I'd like to talk about that if I can. You may. As soon as I find the chapter in the book. Well, can I just point out at this stage that life is a sexually transmitted disease and the mortality rate is 100%, but don't worry too much about it because we've got positive vibes in the studio. All around, Carl. Very well said. There are vibes beautiful. everywhere. What's your name, darling? Tanya. Tanya. What a beautiful name. Isn't yeah. that a beautiful... Can we, all, can we just have a... Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. What's your real name? Tanya. You're kidding. <laughs> <laughs> what a horrible name. Tanya. I'm sorry. You do have a problem, darling. Tanya, you sound so down in the mouth. Oh, I, I am. Why, honey? What's the problem? Oh, I'm having a fight with my best friend. Are you? What's her name? I did. Odette. Yeah, she's American. Is she? Yeah. Well, she must be a beautiful person. Warm, wonderful, and responsive, and genuine, yeah, and sincere. She's not right now. Why not? 
because she took my brother's surf magazine and my brother got really angry at her. Which, oh. that, which surf magazine was that? Wave. Never heard of it. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think you could, you could kind of buck yourself up a little there. You, sh you should project a positive self-image. Protect your creative imagination and always present a positive preview of your coming attractions with vivid descriptions. And you know as, I, as I've said before, as Richard, he's always said and I'll this. say again and again in the course of this radio program, yeah. positive thoughts are all around you. All you need is to be alert and receptive. Once you've latched onto a positive thought, Go with it. Do something with it. Sure. Talk to yourself over and over again. And when you relax, visualize yourself in the act of enjoying and competing. And completing, I should say, each of your current goals. Okay? Yeah, okay. You complete the projects you begin. Yeah. Now, you, you do, go and you, talk to Odette, all right? And yeah. you do what Uncle Richard and Uncle Sidney tell you. Yeah, okay. You be okay. a good girl. And could you play a song for me? No. Please? Yes. No. Yeah, all right. Wait, which song? I want some ice cream. I beg your pardon? I want some ice cream. Well, you're going to have to go to the shop and buy that, I'm oh, afraid. We, we haven't got it. No, Tim Ritchie played it last night. Yeah. So there. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 I think we helped her. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Hello. This is Sid. Sid from Wollongong. That's right. Yeah, How are you, Sid? This you, is Sid. Hello, Sid. Hi, Sid. How's the golf going? The golf's going well. That's it's no, cruising. That's make a change because my golf isn't going well. Because Sid's got a beautiful number plate on his golf. It's what? SYD042. Really? Yeah. 042, that's the Wollongong well, 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 area, area code. code. Yeah. Wollongong area code. What color is your golf, Sid? It's, um, well, right now it's, it's sort of a, a nice deep dark sea green with lots and lots of steelworks dirt over it. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, mine is, uh, is bronze, Sid. Bronze. The genuine well, maybe bronze. Maybe we can trade dirt, you know. Of course, uh, as has been mentioned before in this program, I'm currently driving the Smegma Jag War. Smegwar. Smegwar, yeah. Smegwar, yeah. What's your problem, Sid? Well, I, I, I lack an awful lot of motivation. I'm supposed to be writing my thesis right now. What's your thesis on? You really want to know? Sure. Store control of variable vein axial flow fans. Oh, that old one, huh? I'll just yeah. hand this one over to, uh, to Carl Cruz. <laughs> Are you actually doing variable flow veins? No, no, no. Axial flow fans with variable veins. And this is your thesis? Yes. Have you written it? Oh, no, not as such. Well, look, look, it's funny you should mention this about the steelworks, because I remember very strongly my very first job in the steelworks, which was to row up and down in this little creek uh, in an aluminium boat and measure the pH or acidity or alkalinity of the creek. Or Dallas Creek. Or the yeah, and, and it varied between about measure. battery acid, which is pH of 2, yeah. uh, up to uh, pure water, which is 7, when they weren't dumping anything into it, and all the way up to about 11, which is uh, sodium hydroxide. Well, it depends on what part of the steelworks you're actually at. Sort of a variable thing all the way down to the inner harbour. Well, it's funny that. The Steelworks is huge. Like, I used to go for walks in there, and from one end to the other, by the shortest route, was eight kilometres. Yep. Sid and is measuring the pollution in the canteen. And, and, um... Sid the is the pollution in the canteen. Ooh. And, and look, look, we, we all wish you sort of positive vibes on your thesis here, and I can feel the vibes sort of flowing up. Is there anything musically we can do for you, Sid? Well, yeah, but first, can I ask Carla a question? Sure. Um, it's, it's to do with babies. Yeah, I've delivered about 12 of them, yes, yes. yes. They're, they're those little pink things with uh, arms and legs. That's right. He's got what, a van out the front full yeah, of what, them. What I want to know is, are babies' nervous systems slower than an adult's nervous system? And the reason I ask this is, uh, a friend of mine has a baby, and I was bathing and changing it the other night. And I moved little baby's arm the wrong way, and she looked at me strangely. You broke it. Then two seconds later, she started crying. I wondered if there was sort of some delay in their nervous system. Well, it's an interesting thing that you've come across because um, babies, like I think the thing about the human animal is that we've got this brain in our skull which other animals don't have. They don't have a big brain. And to fit the brain out through the birth canal, I mean, that's where we've come to the end of our current evolution. To fit the brain through the birth canal, you've got to have the brain not fully wired up. And so the baby gets sort of soft and hardwired after it's born. So they're, they're, they're sort of partially wired up and they're partially like a, a blank whiteboard. And they have to be written on by experience before they get fully wired up. And, and let me uh, commend you on your extreme perception in noticing the slowness of reaction. And I hope the baby's arm is all right. Oh, she's fine. The mother killed me. But, uh, Did she? Oh, yes. So you're ringing long distance. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I am. Sydney? Yeah? I, I, I want to play you something. Just have a listen to this. Somewhere in the world, a baby is born every 1.7 seconds. This means that in the time it takes to fry an egg in a conventional frying pan, over 137 babies have been born. Unless you like your egg really crispy and golden brown on the outside like I do. 
in which case you could have over 200 really crispy fried babies. Hello. Uh, Smegma this afternoon. This is the uh, the last Smegma show on JJJ with Richard H. Cheeseman and Sydney Dates. Great to be here. And Carl Krishelninsky. <laughs> no, you can Krishel. Krishel. Krishel Nitsky. Krishel as in bushel. Yeah. Nit as in hair. Krishel Nitsky. And ski as in yuppie. Yeah. Or yuppie. Or push. Yeah. Sydney as in... Sid. Uh, dates. <laughs> That's a toughie, huh, guys? <laughs> it's exciting and new, Sydney. Yeah. Yeah, we'd like to help a few more people on the phone here, and we have Matthew. Hello. Hello. Well, we have Matthew on the phone, uh, operating the switchboard at the moment. Jeff. Matthew. Sorry? Jeff. We have Jeff on the... Jeff. Hello, Jeff. Hey, good day. How are you? Fine. Not too foul, Jeff. I mean, not too foul, Jeff. That's okay, Dick. <laughs> Jeff. Jeff. Talk, talk, Jeff. Talk, 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 talk to us, talk, Jeff. Talk, talk to us. You've got to help me. I'm depressed. Why, why sure, are you sure, depressed? Sure. I'm really depressed. I don't think I can take... You guys leaving, you know? Ah, no, listen, we don't want to bring this whole thing down. No. No. <laughs> Let's talk about something else. Let's bring it up. What, el what else are you depressed about? Bring it what? Up. All the great music you play. Yeah, well, you'll hear some great music on this station and on the, the other. Yeah, but you... I want to hear Blind uh, Spiders. Well, that's sort of great stuff that you used to play. Well, we'll play Still, that. We played here. Yeah, but I want to see you bring it to the rest of the world. I just want to tell you something, Matt. <laughs> I think it was Walter H. Budhauser. You're correct. Was it? Walter? I don't know what Walter you're going to say, this. but I'm sure Walter said it. He said, I'm going to fly from my cocoon and put my footsteps on the moon. All I'd ever hope to be is free to be that person, me. Richard, uh, continuing with the moon theme. Sure. Uh, let me quote you from Romeo and Juliet. Okay. Romeo says, Lady, by yonder blessed moon, I swear, the tips with silver all these fruit tree tops. And Juliet says... Oh, swear not by the moon, the inconstant moon, that monthly changes in her circled orb, lest that thy love prove likewise variable. Sure, sure. Mirror, mirror on my wall. You guys are really helping me, you know. I, I hope so. Do you feel a Is little better? Yeah, I'm starting to feel a bit better. Well, I haven't finished yet. Mirror, mirror on my wall, what's the meaning of it all? Is there something more to life than to be a loving wife? Yes, I love my children dearly, but they'll grow up and come by yearly. Dare I yearn for something more than to cook and wax the floor? What about the needs I feel? Are my dreams considered real? What about an education and a voice to shape our nation? What about a true profession instead of reading true confession? I'm not angry or rebelling, but there's something strong, compelling in my destined heritage. Still a two-fold color page in some Playboy magazine, just a sexy pin-up queen, mirror, mirror on my wall. Help me, help him hear my call. All I've ever hoped to be is free to be that person. Me. That's beautiful, Richard. You know, a lot of people are, are, are questioning the move to, to, to SM. And uh, we're getting people saying we shouldn't do it. But we must retain our liberty to broadcast where we please. And two variable quotes are about liberty. I'd like to say to you now to cheer you up. <laughs> Vladimir Ilyich Ulyanov Lenin once said... Yeah, he did. I, I remember this one. It is true that liberty is precious. So precious that it must be rationed. He said that. And Abraham Lincoln said, In giving freedom to the slave, we assure freedom to the free, honorable alike in what we give and what we preserve. Oh, well, uh, I suppose that sort of makes it a bit better. Okay. Remember, wherever you are, wherever you listen to us, it's magic what we do. Yeah. Good luck, you guys. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. Goodbye. Uh, Richard and Sydney, you may not realise this, but of course, uh, when Vic and I go into production and we record during the week, um, whenever we get a new electronic toy, we try and play around with it. You're going to pull a blooper out on us? Yes, you? yes, oh, I am. This is a little digital delay that Mark Kennedy, who produces the uh, breakfast show, he gave to us one day. So Vic and I got into the studio and <laughs> we just played around with it. Hero, hero, Working on the railroad day, to pass day, the time day, of day, 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 to hear the whistle blow, day, day, rise up so day, early in the morn, 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 from the day that I was born, 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 born,